Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan Tong and I'm here in Bangkok with some of our key customers from Asia Pacific. It is no secret that the last couple of years have been rather rough for us in this industry because of the pandemic. Well, recovery is well on its way and stronger than a lot of us has expected according to IATA's reports. And uh, with me here today to share with us how they weathered the storm and leveraged technology for their strong growth is Ria Vidal, okay, who is the Chief Information Officer from Philippine Airlines. And I'm especially excited to have her here with us because she joined Philippine Airlines very recently after years of experience with multinationals in different verticals. So I'm sure she has a lot of experience that she's bringing in. She's an agile coach and she has led many enterprise level IT projects as well. So Ria, tell us a little bit about your background, your life before Philippine Airlines and what has been keeping you busy in the last 12 months. So thank you, Jonathan, for having me here. Happy to be here in Bangkok with you and the rest of the Amadeus guys. So um, my journey towards IT has been a circuitous one. It was not a straightforward, straight to IT uh, career. So I did a lot of business uh, processes also, such as logistics, finance, and then eventually because of one of those large scale enterprise systems project, I became exposed to IT. And from there on, I handled different areas within IT, uh, project management, agile coaching, service management, IT operations. And because of my leadership role now, I became exposed also to handling also strategy for digital transformation here at Philippine Airlines. Sounds really uh, exciting and I'm sure you are really, really busy. So thanks for taking the time with us. Um, well, tell us a little bit about digital initiatives in Philippine Airlines for the last few years and especially in the last few months. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, we started on a journey uh, for some of our latest digital solutions yes, with Amadeus. Correct. We have a digital lab now in place. So okay. how is all that going and what are some of the key technologies that are important to you? Okay. Thank you, Jonathan, for mentioning the Digital Lab Initiative that is actually a core element of our digital transformation strategy. So I'm happy to note that as of October 3, we have gone live of the migration from DX to the RefX platform. Oh, yeah. And with that migration, we will now be able to offer better product offerings, richer content, and hopefully also generate more revenue for the business. Another thing that we're excited about is we recently signed up with Salesforce, who is a strategic partner of Amadeus. Right. And together with you, we will be able to also integrate that with your solution called Travel DNA, which of course, by the name itself, Travel DNA, will really give us a 360 degree view of the customers and the different segments of the customers. Therefore, we can create and craft better marketing campaigns according to the profile of our travelers and customers. And then lastly, there are also certain opportunities and exciting technologies in the field of AI. Uh, so we have also started using for the Digital Lab an automated testing tool which automates around 60% already of our testing um, activities. And that has been really helpful to be able to meet the deadline for the migration from DX to RefX. Wonderful, wonderful. And I have to say, you really describe our Traveler DNA product uh, <laughs> very, you. very well. Mm -hmm. But for the audience out there, the Amadeus Traveler DNA essentially takes all our PNR information and data and starts to build a 360 view of the customer for the airline yes. so they can personalize the offer and even services to all the digital points. Mm -hmm. Well, switching gears now to personalization yes. since we are talking about mm -hmm. it. It is a very, very hot topic in the industry mm -hmm. and uh, we have observed, very happy to say that the industry is really adopting this and moving into this area. Um, airlines are getting the 360 view of their passengers like what you said yeah. and um, starting to do all this personalized offers and servicing. So tell us a little bit in Philippine Airlines, what are some of your initiatives around personalization? So uh, I learned this also from Amadeus no? that we should be able to show love at every moment of truth of the passenger. Absolutely. And when we say we want to be able to show love, the moment that they start searching through their web browser, they would feel that, oh, this content is for me. Philippine Airlines knows what I need. And then when they make the decision to be able to book and pay for their flights, actually take the journey. And then at the end of that, for them to be able to give feedback to us on their actual experience 
those are the different moments of truth where I think personalization will really matter. And therefore, we will get that emotional kind of loyalty from our customers. And when I say emotional loyalty, I mean that it's the kind of loyalty that is not transactional, that I am only loyal to you because you gave me a discount. This is something that we hope will last a long time, hopefully in their entire lifetime. Thank wonderful, you. wonderful. I, I'm already feeling the love by the way yes. you uh, describe it, so that's mm -hmm. really awesome. So thank you so much for sharing with us, and I'm really glad that Philippine Airlines is doing this together with us, Amadeus. Um, you're a really strategic partner, and we really appreciate the partnership that we have. So thanks for being here with us today um, and sharing all this great experience. So thanks for having us. Thank you and, also, um, Jonathan. Oh, you're most Happy welcome. to be here yep. and share our experience with you guys. And in the next 24 months, we, I'm sure we have more stories to share uh, Exactly. Together. So thanks everyone for being here with us and see you again soon.